Welcome back everyone, Zig Morgan here for a Let's Play campaign of Gauntlet, which is the 2014 top-down hack and slash dungeon crawler that is available to be picked up on the PlayStation Network, subject to change for £15.99. Today I'm joined by my co-op partner, Hi. who will also be joining me in this epic quest. And as you can see up on the screen, we're just at the minute uh, selecting our characters. I'm choosing more to go with the warrior, which has the axe. Uh, it has high health, he's a strong melee fighter with wide attacks, and he likes to rush into the thicker battle, which I think will suit my playstyle quite nicely. I'm going to go with an elf. Uh, he uses a bow and arrow, um, long range attacks, more about kind of distracting the enemies while you get into the thick of it. Of course, with this game comes a couple of different characters. Of course, you have the necromancer, which can be, a, be purchased, the warrior, which you're going, of course, the Valkyrie. Um, he uses sword, spears, and shields, and the wizard, of course, because then he uses magic. As they would do, I don't think they'd throw pennies at people, though that would be quite funny to watch. Or wizard. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share, or subscribe. And of course, don't forget the monthly Q&A and shout-out videos. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in being involved in either of those two, there are a couple of conditions which I'm going to reel off now because I'm sure you're fed up with mentioning them. Uh, one, you've got to be subscribed to the channel and be an active member. That means commenting, liking, promoting. Um, and in the Q&A scenario-wise, you have to put in the comments your question. Mm -hmm. In the case of a shout-out, a link to the channel you wish to shout-out, and maybe a couple of lines of why you want to shout-out, what you like about it. Um, alternatively, if you want to kind of provide feedback on the channel and on the videos, um, I'm sure you, Zeke, will... Um, gladly take those on board and I do. I, videos and cover certain videos. I always try and um, take on board people's comments, um, always respond to, I try and respond to every person who posts a comment to me, sends me a message, I think that's just quite nice and I think that's how a YouTube channel should go, so that's the way I'm trying to do it. And that's why I value all the feedback that I get and all the questions that I get. One stipulation I will say, um, if you are submitting a question for the monthly Q&A, please start your comment or your question with Q&A or monthly Q&A or something so I just know it's for the monthly Q&A, not just asking me a question because I don't want to be ignoring your question for that part of the month, obviously leading up to the monthly Q&A and finding out then that it was actually a question you were just asking me offhand of, you know, say, do you like this game? I don't want to be leaving it that whole month to respond to a comment thinking it's for the Q&A and it really was just an off-the-cuff off comment just to see if I liked the game. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight in. Um, at this stage you can change your equipment if, if you had gold to spare and all of that. Um, do a little prelude to the game. So as with most games, it does give you the little things at the bottom. Oh, this is actually quite interesting. I was going to say, we should point out here, for the purpose of this game, that the camera angle is a fixed position camera angle. Fixed position top down, so fingers crossed people like that. Um, but we'll try and leave our commentary to gameplay and get on with this. Welcome. I am Morak, the only wizard powerful enough to have summoned the gauntlet. This astral manifestation of my powers is a trial where only the strongest will prevail. Find the three lost shards of Tirfing and bring them to me. What a weird And I will grant you Tirfing. power and riches unimaginable. I accept your quest, transparent spirit man. I will bring back <laughs> that the shards. That was not the voice I was claim expecting. claim my prize. Shut up. I wasn't finished. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> You've been told. I have. I got no told by Moronic. I mean, to acquire Moronic. all the shards. I don't expect you to make it. But go on. Amuse me. I don't really trust that guy. Did he just make that? What is your guy's voice about? I have to point out, you should be glad that he's not speaking elfish. Yeah, so I, I'm just a bit wide how your character um, decided to want to trade in a magical sword for a gold sword. He uses bows and arrows. How would that help? Well, when my bow runs out of arrows, mm -hmm. I have to use a sword. Oh, interesting. That's not how this Let's game works. Let's see how fair against the power of the dead. So humans built this place to hang around in once they're dead? I don't get it. Oh, really? Oh, wait. They're undead. Oh, that makes more sense. 
My character, as always, the most intelligent one in the game. Yep, so... So you can pick up gold to get uh, better weapons. Oh, as luck would have it, you've got something there. I just picked up a potion. Oh, sounds good. It's the blue little vial thing. Blue little vials for the potions. Doesn't this game remind you of um, Dungeon Siege? I was just thinking that, actually. Dungeon Siege 3 was a game that... <laughs> I'm not going to say we previously played it. It's been quite a while since we played it, but yeah. It's giving me flashbacks of Dungeon Siege at the minute, just for the graphic design and the way it handles handles the combat. That was a really good game. I, I, I have to point out, I think I may have found my mummy. No, oh, really? <laughs> That's bad. It's so bad. <coughs> oh, food! Oh, How do you pick up food at a time like this? Th they've laid it out. My food. Because in the crypt, you just need to have food. Just in case they wake up hungry from the undead. Of course. You never know. I'm, I'm just breaking bones because I don't know. Don't know what they do, so why not? Use my character's. Uh, well, I think push this, this works quite well because your character is more of a kind of weapon ready, get in the middle of it, and my is more of a kind of long range sniper -ish oh, I just weapon. Found something out. I can attack while I'm doing my. Uh... Wow, my guy screams like a dog when he dashes and does a vertical slash. Well, I've got a key. I wonder what that unlocks. Um, could it be the wall of keys? It could be, maybe. Well, they're not shared, so you're going to have to actually go and do it. Will that make me the keeper of keys? It does, in the grounds of Hogwarts. Ah, uh, wait. Hang on, we can't mention Hogwarts, I don't think, because we're, like, none of us are in addition. Oh, I just, I just um, plowed through all of them, then. I did something which made an explosion. Hang on, let's see if I can do it again. Hang on. Yep. Oh, I that's got, pretty cool. I got bombs. Bomb voyage? Oh, really? Not my fault. I'm the elf, I get a hotel <laughs> terrible kill. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait, is that my grandmother? No, I no. don't think it is. I think it is. I think She's it... your fire, your desire. <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe we shouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> we are so bad at making We're very insensitive to the... Um... To the undead. Hang on, I think that's my brother and sister. Um... Oh, hang on, he's a big guy. Oh, let's see if we can catch him in the uh, spike traps. Oh, good idea. I, I said catch him in the spike traps, not yourself, but... Uh... I missed him. Oh, okay. No, they only, they only seem to work when I go over them. So maybe if he follows me. Be no, he avoided them. That's not fair. Oh, guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotta move on. Nice. I'm having some trouble. Just gonna say, uh, we might as well um, just take a second as there's no enemies around to talk about the uh, bottom display there. So you can see there's some kind of gold in. Coins. Keys, keys look. What like. looks to be health? You've got a different health bar to me as well. Could be because my character is like red and yours is green. Wow, nice thanks a bunch. Oh, you can talk as well. Dialogue options. Yeah, yeah. Cool. D-pad dialogue go, go, go. options. I just, I just yeah. press down back then. Uh, and we've got some kind of special abilities there. So I know my um, L2 is a, some kind of elfish bomb. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not quite sure what L1 does, so I don't really want to press it just in case it goes terribly wrong. But what about you? Uh, my circle is kind of like a spinning blade attack. I did it during the um, big group of enemies there. Haven't tried my L1. I might. Oh, I'll do it now. Uh, they I just um, chucked up this new orb thing. I don't know what it did. I checked a very similar one. I think it's dependent on the potions. Maybe. Um, because mine's not coming back, so I think you need to do it. So. Oh, that was a pretty good shot. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I have a key, but I really don't want to open that door to the right of us. Let's do this one first, then. Well, I just used my key to open it. Ah, fair enough, then. So, we're now in a, like a... I think we've backtracked here, because this is the thing before the... You just add some food. Yeah. Fair enough, then. So we just went for the average victim. There we go, let's uh, open this up. No, oh, there we go, that was a nice way for me to swash through all of those. Yeah, I just got quite a lot of enemies with my... Um... That was really good, really good time, really good judge. Um, oh, there's a potion there, that would be cool if we could get it. We, we should have used the key instead of unlocking the other door. You're the one who used the other... You, you're the one that used the key, not me. Um, I think I'm going to be needing this... Um, wow, well, I thought we were honestly going to die then. Kind of a... Um, so did I. Maybe if we could find another key. Maybe, and just continue. Mm, that's gonna come down, isn't it? That is so gonna come down. Yeah. Oh, great. Um, I don't know what that is, but that looks really bad. It's a corrupted mummy. Um, Okey dokey. Um, does, does it mean that the vibes? 
Let's go, we've got, we've got a bloated mummy too. Bloated mummies and corrupted mummies. Um, there's a joke to be made there, I just can't think of it. <laughs> oh, I found explosive bells. Maybe that'll help. I cleared a lot of the enemies away with my um, bomb there. Oh, there we go. I found it's quite a useful elfish weapon. Oh, no. it sort of blew a hole in the wall. Um, I don't know quite how I did that, but... It could be, but they seem to have just... We spawned? We spawned out of the mill there, yeah. Yeah, probably. Probably something to do with the corrupted money. Just um, wine then. I think he's a bit hungry still. I quite like the elf here because if you don't use the elf sniper attack, which is this green kind of laser weapon, mm -hmm. which allows you to put kind of a focused aim, you can run around and basically just fire arrows randomly. And you've hit that barrel twice now. Just saying. Do you want to come get this potion? Maybe it's more suit to you than, than me. I'll have it, but you take some ham. I take turkey. some ham and you take some ham. I don't know if it's ham or turkey or chicken. I don't know, it looks like some kind of thing. Um, I'm guessing this explosive barrel that I'm carrying around. Uh, I don't want to go near those because we have no keys. I have a... no, we have no keys. We have no keys. Why, why did I just say I have a key? I don't know, maybe because you want one. But I sort of um, blew open the door. Oh, I have a key. There's another key on the desk. Ah, this was okay. actually really good. Stop eating all the food. I'm a hungry elf. Learn to share. Okay, if I get this one, you get the next one. Okay, then fair enough. Uh, as you can tell, the keys aren't shared between us. Uh, and so nor is gold, and nor is food. Nor is gold, nor is food, so... He's being greedy. Okay, so we're now trapped in a room. We have more monsters. What? My guy just made it stuck again. Oh, um, I know we've come across them before, but a few enemies explode. Just, just to give you the full warning. Yeah, I, um, I just got hit by the massive unit. Don't get hit by the yellow wizardy monsters weapons. Or the ones that have that area of effect. Because that probably all is very dangerous. Well, one of the things is now. Don't know what these skull troopers are about, but I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of extra life, maybe? Probably. I would not want to find out. I don't really want to find out anyway. I think I just used their own attack to destroy them. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And the enemies can hurt themselves, and uh, hurt each other, so I didn't mean to say Just going to say, I, I never thought I was doing this, that I have a circular kind of roll ability, like a gymnast. Um, hmm. So what ability do you have? Uh, I have the charge. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to backtrack, because I saw what appears to be a room that can be cracked open just above you there. Mm. I don't know if it is, but I'm gonna have a little look. Do we shoot it? No, I got it. Um, hopefully I back away enough, I don't wanna die. Ah, oh, I was right. Potions! Potions! Good turn. I got one. I got and a one. skull coin. So we picked up a skull coin, we don't know what they do, but... Uh, I'm kind of trapped at the moment. Oh, uh, phew. I had to... Gymnast my way out of that one. <laughs> Gymnast your way out of it. I don't know if that's an official word, um, but it's... I don't know. It's in the Elfish Dictionary. <laughs> elfish Dictionary. Oh. I hear elves like gold. Uh, can, can you tell me if that's true? Uh, well, not leprechauns. Oh. Ah, okay. Leprechauns are distant Orkies. cousins like gold. We like trinkets. Ah, oh, fair enough then. Uh, there's a zombie here. Oh. Um, this is a good time to mention my new TV show. Um, yes, it is Elfish the uh, Mummy Hunter. <laughs> Elfish the Mummy Hunter. Yes. Are we going to unlock that spot? Oh, I think we need to. Too bad. <laughs> I decided. That's okay, I got the other ones. Back, back away. I'm backing away. Yeah. It's like a meat grinder. It is. That really was a complete nut of a meat grinder then. Um, I don't think we took any damage during that, i got to say. Yeah. That was um, quite entertaining. Take the food. They can't eat it. Well, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> How can they take food if they're dead? I don't know. I've, I'm sure I've seen a zombie somewhere hit someone over there. Don't think you have. Bring on the Why would they say that? Okay, this is where we, I think we need a bit of... Right, we need um, some... I'd probably move because that's going to explode. Well, it, I just worked out, if you know if you've got more than one potion, mm -hmm. you can actually use your potion ability more than once. 
I just used it sometimes and I could complete both of them. Oh, I have a few fruit kind of quite happily. Yeah. So we've got floating mummies, floating mummies, foodish mummies. Yep, but the only good thing is the explosions caused by the other mummies can hurt their ah, can hurt their own teammates, so that's pretty cool. I'm just currently dodging quite a bit. I picked up a potion, so if you keep dodging, I'm gonna try and destroy these respawn stations. I'm not, I don't really dodging, I'm just trying to watch out for the wizards. Ah, that was close, I almost got caught in that one. Oh. I didn't realise that was that, did you? Oh, did you see? My, my character looks more and more like a gymnast. Watch this jump now. Oh, that is pretty cool. Mine guy is just, just leaps it. Yeah, see, and I can finish it with a roll at the end, so I get 10 points from the journey. Oh, sounds good. Should we, um, oh no, because you ate all the food back there, didn't you? Um, you so did. You, you ate the squad. <laughs> yeah. You ate all the food. Okay, here's my potion. That was much more effective than mine. I hey, no fairness, I didn't know you were going to have this. So. Oh, no, that wasn't my potion. That was my bomb. Oh. Oh, he's getting out of the crypt. That's what my, basically my new show, um, Elfish Hunter, is going to be about. Um, we put people back in crypts. Sounds cool. Yeah, um, in certain episodes, they will go against uh, vampires. Uh, in no way, shape, or form did I steal that from a well-known TV show of the late 90s. Bombs galore! Guessing you can't hurt me, but I don't really want to put the test when I have uh, such a little health to use with me. So. Hopefully that will go up. Bon voyage! Okay, it doesn't hurt me. Really bad puns are there, just gotta say. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a bit more gold. And oh, I'll get the gold for you. Oh, there's a tiny bit more there. You missed it. Yeah, I was thinking you can have that. There we go. Ah, oh, you're so kind. You give me more gold. So that was the last person who stole gold from the elves. Oh, next floor in three. So there we go. We've cleared the first floor. Um, I don't know why I have a lot more uh, coins than you. I was somehow the greediest hero, yet you were picking up everything. Um. I think you're greedy because they don't count elves as human. Okay, okay. so we've cleared the first level. The The entrance was obviously the prelude. And the first level, the Tombs of the Risen, we have just done. So we're going to play the Catacombs, and then we're going to end the first part of the series. But as you can see, there is quite a few um, levels. As we get deeper and deeper into Dungeon Hell. Yeah, until we get deeper into... Dante's Inferno, I, d I don't well, know. I think that was the dog which I had when I was four. You let it die? That, that was nasty. So we're going to jump in with the catacombs. I'm going to go through changing equipment. Oh, you can get different weapons. Oh, and talismans. Talismans are quite nice. So I actually have improvise. You get which, different appearances as well. Which I can throw my potion like a grenade. That's um, pretty cool, I suppose. Okay, so it says each time you um, complete an arena for the first time, you will unlock a new cape. Oh, that's pretty cool. So Your relics can give you certain things, so... Uh, my relic is... Oh, I have enough coins to get three different relics. Obviously, a choice of three. I can have the Boots of Random, or Randam, which increase my movement speed and attack speed. I can have the Tempest Locket, which summons a whirlwind, or I can have the golden feather, which turns all food and potions within radius into gold. Don't know why I'd have that, because recently I... I have no money. However, I did just notice you could change your head. Mm -hmm. um, I did have that. So head. I've got, at the moment, kind of normal elf, <laughs> as I like to put him. Then yeah. I've got... Um, Rogue mask. Yeah. Well, I, I, I like to kind of call this one kind of... The highwayman. <laughs> Mid-elf mid crisis. Yeah. Uh, then you've got Darth Vader elf. Uh, and then my favourite of all time, Viking Elf. That sounds good. Which is not a cure for the common cop, Viking Elf. In any score, in any store near you now. So I am actually going to uh, purchase my Boots of Randam, and fingers crossed that's going to increase my movement speed. Oh, you also have Info and Lawn, which is quite nice. So I'm wondering if it gives me some information about Darth Vader. Um, yeah, on. No, there's no, no. more there. 
no, no law there. I think it's just on, obviously, your weapons and stuff. So, without uh, uh, leaving more time on that, I'm gonna go to continue the game. We can have, of course, up to four people play this game, and it can go online and offline. Mm -hmm. At the minute, we're playing Someone offline, approaches. but obviously, we uh, are just two of us playing on this console. Oh my god, we have discovered death. Okay, death just killed me. You cannot defeat death incarnate. So, that has just told me if you come across death, um, I, th I think you. Um, I think you need to run. Tumble! I'm just gonna respawn and run. I, I think we're just gonna run. Um, I think this is just gonna be one of those that. Um, yeah, I think we're just running for this one. I think we did a good job of escaping death there. Uh, well, I uh, did. Yeah. I didn't know death was actually gonna kill me. Oh, great. Oh, he's back. Uh, run again. Running! Um, Let's follow the upper bombs. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, I almost... Well, we are in the catacombs, so maybe this is the office. Maybe the City of the Dead, for those of you who may not know. I'm wondering if the... Uh, if, if the death... Um, I put the... The, 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 the death. Maybe if Mr. I give death. Him, yeah. Yeah, maybe if I give him his threat title, he will leave me alone. Oh, death is coming for me. I never thought I'd say that. Quite so soon. Um, okay. I'm actually quite frightened of death. I, I, I will say that. Um, uh, we can't do anything. We, we, just it <laughs> we can't get out of the way. Oh, so death died off. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that either. Maybe he died of death. Oh! <laughs> that was so bad. I should really stop playing this game with you. <laughs> we back. Oh, he's oh. back. <laughs> he's, gonna, um, he's coming after me for bad puns. Okay, we need to clear these guys Oh, no. Me. Death can come through locked doors. Death can come through anywhere. When you're familiar with the words Grim stories? No, I kind of skipped over those. <laughs> Death appeared quite a lot in those. So this is going to be a, a quite strange... Oh, wait. Run, 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 run. You say run, you left me behind. I'm an elf. I don't know what there is for elves in the afterlife. Probably nothing. Hopefully nothing. You're leaving your co-op partner. I'm hoping uh, lots right. and lots and lots of elfish bread. I've got... I've got a key. Oh. That's fine, there's a lot of doors, uh, considerable amount of doors. I'm gonna die, but I need to get to that house. You're not going to die, my one. Well, you made your death there. I know, I'm currently um, avoiding him. I, I, there's a key there. Uh, try and avoid death if you can. Right, I'm opening the side door. Right, okay, we need three keys. Well, I got the other two, so get these guys out of the way in. Okay, okay, so oh, we've got some new enemies now. Um, well, my character is talking about elf bread, um, so it actually does exist. Okay, I don't keep making it up. I'm, I'm just, um, I'm just running through these. Um, you take it. You need more. Beautiful, but oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I used my potion. This is quite a um, challenging map. It is, especially with death hanging over us. Death, uh, death is coming after me! I don't think I was ever going to say this. Death is looking behind every corner. It is. Oh, I almost got caught in a pillar. Don't want don't want to die. I don't want to die. You're almost dead. Um, yeah, but that's fine. I will take to say the obvious. But well, at the moment, I really... You ran straight into that. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, like revive, so yeah, the, the skull coins on the top corner um, are the revives. Are revives. Um, ooh, gold. Yeah, we have one winery, so if you keep death occupied. I am making a chase. There we go. Um, good shot, man. Right. Um, Get the way. I can't. My guy's doing his silly thing again. Don't go through that! I've noticed if you hit them, that's when they explode. So let's just run. Run, run, run. Death is after us. Um, I don't think the bombs are going to affect death. I'm just saying. Um, this uh, is uh, probably much more chaotic than the first match. I was going to say, if anybody's played this game before, and wants to give us some advice on how to avoid or defeat death, uh, please feel free to put your comments down in the uh, comment section below. Um, I choose death coming after. Well, I think he's coming after everyone, except for the end. 
I'm just trying to avoid him as much as I can. Um, I'm running the arrows down. Okay. I'll be glad when we get out of the catacombs. Here we go. Let's open. Let's go. Okay, I was going to stand and fight, but there's no way we're doing that. Okay, left. Going to swing left. I don't think we really have much of a chance to get out I'll do that now. But I still died. Um, it's quite interesting that I still died after that. I'm using my. I'm just basically surfing and using my ever comp. Sounds good. You've got a, some kind of R1 option now. It's my relic. I'm just trying to avoid death at the minute. Thanks for making them explode right near me. I was hoping they could explode death. No, I don't think you can die. I'm determined to defeat it. This is definitely a chaotic map, and it's quite challenging trying to defeat all the enemies. You've just gone near death. Well, good roll there, good roll. Um, this is where I inform everyone that I was talking about the uh, Chinese gymnastics team. Just, just keep moving, just keep moving. Um, in the 100 meter elf hurdles. All the time I hear about you, you and the um, hurdles, and I believe that's the end of the mission, so we just pick up some gold. Let's go. Um, I'm not getting caught by death, so the floor has been cleared. Oh, I killed a lot more enemies on you, but um, I just went crazy with my I'm the greediest thing. hero. You are the greediest hero. You uh, died one time, and you died from area damage, because I think they caught you with that um, exploding thing. Well, to be fair, I think you should have had an award there for the Hand of Death. I should have. Um, he really aided in my journey to the afterlife. So we have a split up option here. So we have a main mission and what looks to be some kind of... Maxim's Mummery. So that's going to be quite interesting. But that will be uh, where we end it for today's episode. If you stay tuned for the next episodes, we will be trying to put these up now on a weekly schedule. Um, I will be trying to put these up maybe Monday every week just so you you know of a day to tune in. And as always, if you enjoyed it, don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and leave those comments down below. Bye! <laughs> what he said. Thank you very much for watching.